Some of you have been wondering what's going on in my life and I get the question all the time, wait Paige, didn't you just move to California? Now you're traveling, what, what are you doing? Where are you going? What's happening? Um, and some people still think I live in Hawaii, which is interesting. Um, so really where in the world is Paige? What am I up to? What are these goals and dreams that I'm pursuing? Um, well, I just want to clarify that right now and get you up to speed on what's going on in my life and also just letting you know some ways to support me in my future. So I think where I want to start this story is, ba- is I'm just going to go a little bit backwards to 2016. And from 2016 to 2019 is when I pursued my master's degree in counseling And my very first year of grad school, my dad passed away. And although I wasn't really close with my dad, I really was always so jealous of his travels. He lived in Europe for years for his job. He also retired um, when I was like in middle school. So he was constantly on trips and showing me his adventures. And I really gained a lot of like, wanderlust through him and I've always wanted to travel so I just want to put in the back burner that you know when my dad passed away that was all you know as anyone passes that was a really big deal for me to be like what the fuck is happening what am I doing with my life what's my career path now I'm in grad school I thought therapy was what I wanted to do um, but turns out that's not a long-term career for me as much as I value my master's degree in counseling and all of that. So I even lived in Hawaii to finish my grad program. That's why I was there. Um, I loved living there, but it was also really depressing because I, it was working with populations with substance abuse and I already worked with populations with eating disorders. So it was just very heavy work that I was doing already for like five plus years So I say all this as just a context to, I have moved on my own before. I did live in Hawaii. I love the beach. That is where I'm the most happy, my most authentic self. But for years, it's, there's always been an excuse, whether that's school or work, like there's always an excuse for why I haven't actually like backpacked or really solo traveled. And I was in Colorado during the pandemic and as you know as shitty as that was for everyone for me that's when I started my own business I was like let's turn this gnarly situation into something positive so I'm not gonna be a therapist I'm gonna be a coach I started my own business I hired my own business coaches to help me through it I became an accredited coach um, because I really valued my education and my training and wanted to make sure I was doing this ethically and I started getting my own clients and people started paying for my services and so I was like oh my god I'm a life coach like I have my own business I'm being an entrepreneur I'm actually a CEO this is cool so I did that for two years living in Denver with my partner at the time but even then in Denver, I just really wasn't happy as the location. Now, Colorado is beautiful. That's where I grew up. But I was, ne- if you know me, I was never happy in Colorado. Like, I've always wanted to be somewhere else. And eventually, I was like, okay, it's now or never. Like, I'm going to move to California. And I wanted my partner also to come along with that. So we planned that. But turns out that we went our separate ways respectfully but I was still gonna go on my own so I was looking at San Diego I was looking at Encinitas Carlsbad a lot of like North County Orange County areas and it was getting like impossible and you know during this breakup I was like okay like where am I the most happiest where have I been the most happiest and I was reminded of Laguna Beach and Luckily, there was a studio on the beach and I took it. I signed the lease. So I've been here in Laguna Beach for, mm, it'll almost be a year, right? It's almost June right now. So I've, I've loved living here so much. Literally right outside is the water, is the sand. I wanted to just 
be somewhere else where I can heal and be at peace and rediscover myself. I was with my partner for 11 years. So all of my 20s was with him and I don't regret any of it. But like me being single in my 30s in a brand new state was rough to say the least, but it was also so freeing. I've made so many connections here. I really love California. Like there's a lot that's similar to Colorado, so I don't feel like too out of it, but enough change to where now I know what it's like at least to live in SoCal. And, you know, my heart will always be here and also in Hawaii as well. Like those are always going to be locations that I can go back to and make a home. But right now is the moment in my life to really see how can I travel abroad, still have my coaching business, and I'm also a resume writer as well, remote, so I'm crafting this life for myself to work, to to be a digital nomad, to see what that's like to live abroad for an extended period of time, and you know, I'm not complaining with this list, I just want to list out to you, I don't have a boyfriend, I don't have a pet or kids or a car, or property. So it's not from a lack, it's from a wow, I am no strings attached, I don't have anything tying me down or settling. So this is the time more than ever to see the world. So my, as I mentioned before, my dad who passed away, he always encouraged me to go for it to go see the world do the things when his health was starting to decline like we couldn't have that opportunity to do that together um and you know he lived in england scotland germany and norway so those are all definitely bucket list places and i've been to england and per and france and spain before in terms of western europe but i've always wanted to see more obviously so now is just the time to kind of like pay my respects to my dad and my dad's side of the family is German. So like Germany is like a huge bucket list for me to just get back in touch with my roots and with him. And so this trip, yes, it's about me. It's about having this adventure and trying it, but it's also just to honor my dad because I... I know he would be proud and this is just something I just need to do and it, the timing is now. Um, so to set you up with my actual intentions of what I'm going to do. So I leave for London on the 4th of July and I did this for, you know, firstly a logistical reason, but the first reason is because that's literally when my lease is up. Um, and then also leaving on the 4th of July because, I mean, that's a big middle finger to, Amer- to America, right? I'm leaving for London on 4th of on America's birthday. But also, it's Paige's Independence Day. And I'm leaving. I'm flying off the plane with the fireworks ablazing. Like, let's fucking go. Um, so it's really symbolic for me. And I, I think it's, it's just, like, really special. And I'll always have that date in like carved in my brain of when I left so I'm going to go to London I'm going to stay in a one bedroom flat and I'm going to stay there for three weeks and also really fun I with my resume job I might work in their London office which would be really cool downtown it's like in Soho um so it's cool I work for this international company and I'm gonna work in their office which is just pretty fun But yeah, I'm going to stay in London for three weeks, and then I'm going to go to Manchester and stay with my friend for a week um, and his partner, and I'm really excited to just spend time with them and see that side of England. And during that time, too, like, I'm going to do day trips or at least a weekend, like, seeing the countryside, and I'm really big on castles. Like, that's my thing I'm really looking forward to in terms of sightseeing is I love architecture, and I love castles. So I'm super stoked to just like be around a bunch of history and culture. So after that, I'm going to go to Scotland. So I'm just going to continue my journey up north, um, Edinburgh, Edinburgh and Glasgow. And then I'm going to stay there for hopefully a month. My goal is to stay in a new country every month. Then I'm going to hop over to Ireland and stay in Dublin. I'm going to stick to cities. 
And then after Ireland, I'm going to go to Germany. So that'll start the first like Europe. Um, and for those that don't know, if you go on your American visa, tourist visa, you can only stay in the Schengen areas, which is like 27 European countries. Go Google it. But you can only stay there for 90 days in six months. So I'm going to spend majority, if not a lot of my time in the UK and then transfer over to Europe and then do my things because I'm, I'm literally limited by the government. So, um, yep. So I'm going to go to Germany and I'm going to stay there a month and hopefully I've made some connections that I can stay with, uh, friends or friends of friends. And then I just can't wait to go to Oktoberfest. Like that's going to be amazing. And I'm going to set it up where it would have been my dad's birthday um in September so I'm going to at least as long as I'm in Germany around his birthday I think he would have been really stoked about that and then after Germany y'all I don't know I mean I want to see Austria Switzerland um Amsterdam like the there's a bunch of course and I would love to do it all in one time but we'll see. So like I said, the minimum is six months. If I'm there longer, amazing. As long as I can afford it and as long as it makes sense and I feel aligned, then that's what I'm going to do. And this is also a first time for me ever to go on any kind of trip and not have an itinerary. So instead of it being like, at this time, I'm going to be here at this exact time, it's just more going to be like, I have a vision, like I have a goal, my intention is to be in this country around this time, but we'll see because I don't want to limit myself to to opportunities, to people I'm going to meet, to places, to people that people are going to recommend places when I'm there that aren't on my bucket list already. My bucket list is really long, y'all. It's on my Google Maps. It's it's ridiculous. But anyway, I want to purposely be a little bit more loose and flexible with my schedule as much as like that's very hard for me I'm a very like intentional planner budgeter like but you know what I'm getting I'm getting more loose with that um so yeah that's really overall the summary of my journey thank you so much for listening to this almost 15 minute video um if you look in the description or the comments of this video i started a gofundme page just to like give you that context of my trip and really just any donation is appreciated whether that's one dollar hey that's gonna go to my groceries um anything anything helps i would really appreciate that and if you don't have the funds to send money um please just connect with me make sure to tune in to my podcast that's free um i'm going to be recording all of my journeys on my podcast episodes so it'll, i'll launch a new season and if you could just rate and review my podcast and share it on your social media of like hey check out my friend she's doing the thing I'm doing a podcast rather than like a blog or anything like that so yeah if you don't have any funds no worries I would really appreciate some likes and review from my podcast would be great so yeah if you have any questions if you want to connect with me before I leave whether that's your local here in California or you just want to chat with me on the phone Let me know and thank you so much.